Good morning, Bancroft Lion family. It's Dean Quigg with your morning announcements. Happy Tuesday. Hope everybody had a great Monday. We are nearly there. It's a short week this week, so let's make today great. Here we go. Today is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. Again, today is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. Today is National Date Nut Bread Day. Not really sure what date nut bread even is, but if you like it, congratulations, it's your day. More importantly, in my opinion, the NBA season starts back up tonight, and that is a national day in itself, especially for Dean Quigg. I love basketball, and I love the 76ers. Here's hoping maybe we'll actually have a really good season, maybe win a championship. Not going to get my hopes up too high, though. Now, please join Miss Thompson in saying today's Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning, Bancroft Lions. Let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day. Don't forget, we're still in Spirit Week. Today, you should be sharing your favorite item. And tomorrow, Wednesday, you should come dressed in your warmest winter gear, hats, gloves, scarves, coats, all that stuff. Let's all participate in Spirit Week and make it awesome. Our other announcement today is just a reminder about our schedule this week. Please remember we are doing full days of online learning Monday and Tuesday, and then only a half day on Wednesday. Our shout out today goes to Miss Barnes's room. I had a really great time uh, popping into your class yesterday and visiting. Thank you for having me. Our SEL word of the week is consequence. Consequence is the result of something a person does. Remember, boys and girls, there are good and bad consequences. So take some time this week to think about the decisions you make and how you can make good decisions so that way you can experience good consequences. Okay, Lions, time for our joke of the day. Where do polar bears go to vote? Again, where do polar bears go to vote? Polar bears go to vote at the North Pole. Get it? Because when you go to vote, you go to a polling place. So they would go to the North Pole to vote. Boy, oh boy, I sure hope that joke made you laugh like these two polar bears are. But I have a feeling it might have even put you to sleep a little bit. Another one of Dean Quigg's boring old jokes. Alright, so... Maybe to put a smile on your face, enjoy this quick video of polar bears doing their version of sledding. Okay, Bancroft family. That brings us to the end of today's announcements. Remember, you are unique, you are smart, you are talented, you are worth it, you are special, you are valued, you are amazing, you are loved, and most importantly, you matter. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.